roubar a cada mãe. <risos> All right, we're back. Finally got both packs fully as disassembled, checked all voltages on all cells, and uh, taped up any parts of the uh, uh, insulation on the cells that uh, needed needed attention. Anyway, they all sit between, and there's two different banks, like I said. Uh, first bank, every cell is a three, uh, 3.44. Second, second bank, the one that I was using uh, for the last six months, that was all sitting about uh, 3.4. Um, uh, and uh, 3.3, 3.4, really close. These banks are actually sitting pretty dang close as it sits. So we're in a top balance for like 24 hours and we'll come back and we will assemble with the Ill Customs bus bars. One single 192 amp hour bank. All right, all right, got them all connected, all the positives, all the negatives, it's top balance for the next 24. Just use some bare silver wire, it was like 20 gauge or something, real thin but good enough. Cross all the positive and negatives, hollow cross and zigzag and every which way. All right, come back at you after the top balance. All right, next day, Everything should be nice and top balanced. I'm gonna unhook the little uh, wire jumpers, whatever you want to call them, connecting all the cells. Uh, we're gonna unhook them and we're gonna test them again with the multimeter. Come back at you with the results. All right, so got them all separated. Uh, we have cells that have blemishes on the insulation that I just taped up with electrical tape just to take care of that, you know, peace of mind so nothing shorts out. And we have the ones that are perfect. Now, after top balancing, um, they all rested uh, between 3.33 and 3.34. So, all within a hundredth of a volt, there was one cell that rested at 3.38. Still within a hundredth of a volt, so not really anything to worry about, but... That's where they're sitting, that's where they're at. Now we're gonna start the assembly. All right, so starting the assembly, um, starting with the uh, first positive, where all the terminals and all the terminations are gonna be. Um, so I just popped all the screws through and started uh, hand tightening them on. I'll go through at the end and uh, tighten with a manual screwdriver. You definitely wanna, don't wanna over torque them. So I'm not going to be using a impact or anything like that. I just use that for disassembly. All right, I'll get back at you at the next part of this assembly. All right, got the first row attached positive. This is going to be the positive side of termination. Now we're going to do the first connecting um, piece. Um, there was there's a total of three of these. Uh, to connect and obviously two for termination where the bolts for the lugs are gonna go and everything anyway the uh, the two um, Two out of the three have blemishes on them So whatever uh, and I can't really trip I don't really it doesn't really matter because I mean It's gonna be on the bottom like you won't be able to see it anyway and one of them is perfect So that's gonna be the one on the top that you can see uh, not a big deal, just something that happened with these. Uh, these are the ill customs. Uh, definitely still plenty, like, I'm satisfied with them. They are awesome, they're great, and the best value for what you're getting as far as all the different bus bars I've found. Um, so yeah, definitely check them out, definitely recommend them, and I'll get back at you at the next step. All right, just checking in, just if I can put this uh, next piece on all the way, and we're good to go. All right, it's fully assembled. As you can see, we're resting at 13.36 as of right now. I'm gonna throw it on the charger, top it all off and everything, but it turned out pretty nice. Definitely a meticulous project, but well worth it. it looks really good. Uh, gonna be building in a plexiglass case. Uh, already got RPG fucking LEDs to throw in there, so. Should look pretty clean. Gonna do an amp rack right on top. Gonna angle the two 8,000 watt amps like this. That's 45 inch or 45s. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But uh, 
got it fully assembled. Took for fucking ever, but we got it. Now I'm gonna finish just throwing the bolts on for the uh, lugs and everything. So we'll get back at you, I guess, when that's all done. All right, it's fully assembled. Uh, everything is on there. Everything's good to go. Um, last thing, I am gonna build this in acrylic case. Uh, but I don't have the acrylic here yet. Right now we have it on the charger. Charging the 14.4. I did connect the uh, Bluetooth battery monitoring setup uh, and uh, BMS, active BMS over here. They're not like secured where they're gonna go yet. They're just hooked up. Uh, I'm gonna wait till I get the acrylic and build the case to find their home and everything. But. Right now it's all charged up and ready to go so i think that's how i'm gonna end this video and i'll come back at you when i'm uh building the acrylic case and i'll be building the amp rack at the same time because it's gonna be on the same thing so all right later